death. But in fact, it's a corrosion and other types of fungus. I suppose that one day mankind encountered this being. And as a result of the war and degradation, combining the genetics of the proto-human race with this mushroom creature, appeared modern humans and animals. But these proto-humans, did they have two genders with women? Or they were same gender, in other words, genderless, and reproduced exclusively by cloning, splitting off. It is difficult to say now, too little data to confirm, to oppress and blame modern women about all of this makes no sense. It makes sense to monitor your cleanliness, but if you still think that not everything is so clear about the women, then it's enough not to eat food that she cooked, to avoid getting pheromones through her hands, and not to have sex for no reason, only to continue the genus and create children and not forget that they must get best education and given every possible knowledge without any doubts. There is such a version that women are a separate species independent in terms of reproduction from men. They can reproduce without them. This is a well-known fact. Official science knows about it. This is called parthenogenesis. When a woman becomes pregnant without a man and even without male sperm, the female's egg begins to grow as a result of a mechanical puncture by the bacterium from the so-called normal flora, for example, by trichominus or another flagellar bacterium. Let me remind you that sperm is also a flagellar bacterium. In case of successful parthenogenesis, the egg does not use an additional male Y chromosome, but divide the female X chromosome, appears a copy of the mother. In other words, an intrauterine clone of a female is attained, like this. Conclusion, a woman is a self-sufficient biological species and not just gender. In the early stages of female incubation, the grown body begins to grow from the female template, no matter if it is woman or it is man. This is all known in modern science too. The gender of the child in the early stages is always female. It turns out that a male is a modification of an intrauterine clone of a woman. And what do you think? Why does a man need nipples on his chest? This is the remainder of the original female template. 